Welcome back into the Awesome YouTube channel. Guys, my name is Jeff Ulrich, bringing you some NBA picks for Thursday, March 24th on Jock Market. And if you haven't heard, Jock Market has turned fantasy sports into a stock exchange. Forget waiting until the end of the game to make money because Jock Market allows you to buy and sell shares of players in real time for real money with guaranteed payouts all those shares at the end of the night they have daily markets in nba mlb nhl and pga so you can make real money every hour every minute every second of any match or game with jock market and what you do you use the pre-game ipo to pick up shares of your favorite players and you buy sell or hold them during the game based on your own analysis download the app to get started use our exclusive awesome promo code Osmo for up to a $50 bonus on your first deposit. This is an exclusive offer only for the Osmo community, so make sure to take advantage of it today. That's Osmo for a $50 bonus on Jock Market. Now, let's talk about some of these NBA plays for today. We got three picks coming at you for the Jock Market streets. Three guys I think you can be targeting in their IPOs there. You know, should be able to get some pretty good prices there. Obviously, price is what we're mainly concerned about when we're bidding on players for Jock Market, but a five-game NBA slate. And let's start by looking at the Chicago Bulls and Zach Levine. I really like the spot for Zach Levine. You got DeMar DeRozan potentially out today. He's listed as questionable right now. You've got a nice pace-up matchup with the New Orleans Pelicans who have been playing at a bit of a faster pace of late as well too. And Levine's been good. He's gone over his normal allotted fantasy point per game over his last few starts as well. He's averaging 1.65 fantasy points per game over the last month. And with DeRozan out, his usage goes up by quite a bit, almost 5% without DeMar DeRozan on the floor. His fantasy points per minute go up without DeRozan on the floor as well. So Levine grading out very well in the Osmo projections. He's gonna be in a big spot tonight, potentially to carry that Chicago Bulls offense if DeRozan's out. And look, Levine's just played well of late too. He's looked good. He shot the ball well. I think this is a big spot for him tonight. And on Jock Market, he's been a pretty solid contributor. He's been a pretty solid producer, produced some nice positive ROI returns. I don't know if Levine's price on Jock Market is really gonna, gonna get all that crazy too. So I think you'll be able to get him for at least a decent IPO. I like targeting Zach Levine tonight either way. I think it's a good spot, should be a bit of a closer matchup. And again, that DeMar DeRozan news goes and he's does, he doesn't play. I think Levine is in for a potentially a very big night. Let's look for some value with our second pick, though. Let's go to the Washington Wizards. They're taking on the Bucks today. Let's go to Danny Advia. No Kyle Kuzma likely tonight for the Wizards. Again, probably going to sit. Advia's been playing in his absence. He's gone over 30 fantasy points in his last two games. And that's significant because Advia's playing. He's not playing a ton, but he's getting around 25 minutes per game. And he only had seven points, seven real-life points in his last game. But still manage over 30 fantasy points. You get the deal here. He's contributing in all areas, which we like. And we got some blow concerns here. So I think Advia's price on Jock Market is IPO. I'm not even sure if it's going to get up there. I think some people are going to be scared away from this game. But what, what other choice do the Wizards have but to play him with Kuzma out? I think he's locked in for 20 plus minutes here, regardless of if we have a blowout or not. And as I just mentioned, I mean, Advia's kind of contributing in many different ways. If he does pull up that efficiency in the point department or if this game stays close, I think you have a real blow-up potential on your hands here. And I don't think his IPO is going to get up too, too crazy on Jock Market. I like Danny Advia for some value tonight. Again, going to be locked into a nice role without Kyle Kuzma in the lineup. So, you know, and look, the, the Bucks are a little bit banged up without Chris Middleton too. So could be a bit of a better matchup than people realize. Danny Advia, that's going to be our second pick. For our last pick, let's go to the center position. A bit of a bigger name. Let's go to Jonas Valanciunas of the New Orleans Pelicans. Again, we're going back to that Chicago Bulls game. I think we should have a pretty close one on tap. We do have a pretty close point spread there of minus 2.5. And I just like Valanciunas. He seems to always go a little bit under the radar. The center position too, it's loaded today. We got Jokic on the slate. We got Kristaps Porzingis playing pretty well too. But Jonas Valanciunas actually grades out as the third best play in the Osmo model today. And you can check that out after you're done watching this video. But Valanciunas has been really, really solid lately. He's gone over 45 fantasy points in four of his last seven starts. And he's had two games with 60 fantasy points or more over that stretch as well. So he's basically just a walking double-double at this point. And on Jock Market, he never seems to get bid up too much. So again, we got a pretty good matchup here against the Chicago Bulls, a close point spread. And the Bulls have allowed the 12th most points to the center position this year. So I think that Jonas Valanciunas is going to be in a potentially good upside spot uh, again tonight. He's certainly been pushing for those upside games on a much more consistent basis. And 
you know, again, with the Bulls a little bit banged up, maybe this is a spot where he can get a bit more usage. Maybe the game just plays more to Valanciunas' strengths, but I like targeting him on jock market along with Zach Levine. I think that's a good way to get a good piece of that game. We got a close point spread there with a decent point total. So again, let's round out our th three picks here for today. Again, we got three picks on jock market. We got Zach Levine, Chicago Bulls. Again, potentially no DeMar DeRozan. We got Danny Advia, no Kyle Kuzma. This guy's usage has gone way up. And then we got Jonas Valanciunas, who's been pushing for big upside, produce some really good returns on Jock Marker late. We're going to stick with him for one more game. Those are going to be our three picks, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the awesome YouTube channel if you haven't already. Come on, guys, get that done. And most importantly, have yourselves a great Thursday of NBA action on Jock Market. I'm Jeff Ulrich, and we'll talk to you soon.